photographer get a shot back toward the courthouse? Because it was really interesting. When you were showing us the video before, you could see the significant cracks at the top, but you can also see all of these tiny cracks everywhere throughout the building, right yeah, around we'll some of those here. windows. Yeah, look at, actually, do a little, if you could please do some show and tell for us because you can see so many smaller cracks throughout the building in addition to that big one you see up in the top corner. Wow. Absolutely. So, okay, we'll take you from the top down. This is the old courthouse. Look at that. So, obviously, you can see the major damage right now. There's just, it's, you know, gutted the whole through the roof there, okay? Then, as we pan down, Paul, you're exactly right. You can see the cracks in the building um, towards the face of it. And on the side, you can see, you know, half a dozen of them right now. As we go further down, you can see the glass, which is shattered. Further down, you can see all of the remnants of all of the brick and mortar that have fallen down to the sidewalk and you know when you look at this building um, you know, we're not going to go any closer than, than where we are obviously because there's really no telling um, just you know the the structural integrity of it right now and if we are talking about um, the possibility of aftershocks um, you know this area could be hit once again so it is amazing to see you know a building of this you know magnitude and you know just how how structurally sound it looks it was knocked down, you know, by this 6.0. Oh, yeah. I, I'm no engineer, but uh, that does not look structurally sound. Uh, and, and especially, as you mentioned, the possibility of aftershocks. <laughs> well, you know, we, we've already seen a 3.6 this morning. Uh, there's a more than 50% chance from what we're hearing from the USGS of a 5.0 or larger. There's also the chance, albeit small, a 5 to 10% chance that this earthquake, this 6.0 this morning, could have been a foreshock to a larger quake quake though that likelihood gets lower uh, minute by minute thankfully and those are things that well th let me walk you around here too oh okay well i'm sorry paul i was just going to show you also since we're talking about the you know the the building structures here you know just about an hour ago we heard this loud crashing sound well that happened to be the top of the building you're looking in the corner section of downtown napa that piece started to, to you know, fall down, and it, it's just kind of hanging there. So no one is allowed in that area. We will be not. We will not be going near there. Um, and that just shows you that in any second, you know, who knows what's going to happen to some of these buildings. And then others, you know, smack dab in the middle of the street or just fine. A restaurant that just opened um, seems to be, you know, just fine. Law offices, those are gutted, and um, this bail bonds office and where this car is on the corner. Um, also suffered damage. So you're really getting a look at this complete square where it's kind of the heart of downtown Napa and it is going to be definitely slowing business down and there's going to be a lot of restructuring that needs to go on. Be very curious to see all those beautiful towns north of Napa on Highway 29, the Yauntvilles, the St. Helena's, the Calistogas, because they also have some of those old historic buildings, many of which are great restaurants and great, great wineries. Uh, as our coverage expands beyond Napa over the next several hours and days, um, areas close to this, there are many historic towns. Napa is the biggest. But uh, I'll be very curious to see how many other pictures we see like this in other communities. Yeah, buildings that have not yet been properly retrofitted. Uh, this morning's earthquake is going to be a wake-up call for a lot of property owners. Now, speaking of, a lot of you out there wondering, what should I do now? 